it's it's up. The Gmod stream is up. People get to see this amazingness. The one guy who apparently says I'm the best streamer in the world. Do something funny for the stream. We need money. No. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I need money. You don't get any money because I don't trust what you say. Why is there a thing of Apple Jacks here? I don't know. Like, is that the only place for it? Because if, if it is, then I had to download an Apple Jacks texture just for that one spot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. In here, there's not. In here, they're not even Apple Jacks. They're Grandma's family size cookies. But the, I'm guessing that's like an inside joke somehow. Or one of the devs likes Apple Jacks or something. Or Tasty Tom, Tasty Tom's restaurant styling. I don't even know. And then, of course, there's just the plate of just spaghetti. And a sandwich. Which looks like it's on rye bread. The best kind of bread. It's not even the meme theater that I can go into. Where's the meme theater? It's just anime. I mean... Who watches anime in the anime theater? Uh -huh. Here's a completely out of left field question. Seeing how I wasn't really bothering putting on voices for any of the characters, uh, which character do I best do? If any. Or am I just horrible at it all? How can I even answer that? I don't know. I just completely... I know, I don't bother with voices, so what would my natural voice best match up with is what I'm asking. Um. Just, just visualize it in your mind, every character speaking with my voice. Because, I mean, obviously I can't do it, because, you know, what I sound like sounds different to what other people hear me. Yeah, plus I have a bunch of head jamming for how the people are supposed to sound, because I've seen so many. Oh. Like, Papyrus is, like, universally accepted as sounding like Skeletor. Uh. I mean, they kind of have voices, like, the way their text dialogue beeps. Oh, I know. It has, like, a frequency. Yeah, yeah, I'm sitting on the floating piano. Yeah. All right. So I take it I, I'd be the worst voice actor in the world, basically. I mean, considering you didn't try. I, I didn't bother. It. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't bother. I couldn't. I couldn't think of anything clever. I'm not clever enough. Clearly, you have to voice Jerry, obviously. <laughs> it's... it's... clearly... I wonder if someone will ever make, like, a voice mod for the game. Although I think that would kind of defeat, I think that would kind of defeat the purpose of the game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the fans would tear it apart. Probably. Unless it was just amazing. Unless they like took clips of YouTubers while they were talking, put it in the game, but that wouldn't work as like background music. Yeah. I'd imagine enough, imagine some like really dedicated people could probably do something. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know why you would want that, but. 
to be a lot of dialogue to voice because there's so many different instances like yeah. whether you kill somebody and then play again as a different path and like if you kill sand and go back without saving you kill again so when are they going to start like making like the dating sims of undertale <laughs> You know, I mean, I'm sure there's one, a uh, ton of them. I'm gonna go look. I'm, I'm gonna go look at that because I don't because I have nothing else better to do. So what I'm streaming is it's changing up. I'm I'm now gonna be playing Undertale Dating Sims because I have nothing else better to do when it's midnight. <sighs> I'm at least gonna look it up. Behind it, damn, that's clever. Damn, that's clever. Undertale fan games. I don't really want to know, but, um... Some of the fan-created boss fights I've seen are pretty fucking cool. the heck is this? Oh, this guy made a complete Undertale... Oh, wait. He made a complete Undertale game. Um, it's called. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm happy to release this mess taking place during some during, taking place during the events of Undertale. It chronicles the human getting lost in a in in a way nobody thought possible, and by me to a rather conflicted royal guard. Things don't go well from there. I I don't know what it's called. There's no name for it. It's on. You called it this mess, so it must not be good. Well, it has 1,600 upvotes on Reddit, so I don't know. And it's oh, it's only 30 megs. It's only 30 megabytes. Well, I mean, I'm gonna go give it a try. I I don't I don't care about. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I I don't I don't want to actually download some proprietary thing. Mega, are you nuts? Just download it from the browser. I don't care. I don't want stuff. The heck is Untail? Or Unitail? Uh, that's like... I think that's the really well-made fan creation one with like... Fancy bosses and... Unitail. Uh -huh. Pretty much the only rule is keep the indicative license and don't sell the engine and the creative mods. Toby is supposed to sign Undertale stuff on the exhibition. What is it? Unless this is like some sort of, um, like fan ability to make stuff. Oh well. Oh, it's called Undertale Red. That's that's the name of the game. I just I just downloaded it. Well, I'm curious now. Undertale Red. Oh, it's made with Unity. The original Undertale on Unity? Mm, I don't know. Oh, I can't full screen! Oh. God damn it. You keep taking my chicken. Movement is the same speed in all directions. God damn it, Mojo. I'm gonna stab you. Move the way move the way one would through oh. Slower wait, so Ah, they they uh this uh this this um game has it so that movement you can have it so that diagonal goes just as fast as everything else. It's all even though. Is what? I don't know. How do I accept it? Hold shift or start on startup. Hold shift. Oh, hold shift to show this menu again. Can I accept it? How do I, how do I, the toughest challenge is how do I get to the, uh, how do I get to the actual game? Oh, there's a continue thing down there. 
I see. Oh god! I still can't full screen! Oh. I need to add this to the game capture. I'll call it red. Undertale red. So I, I have no I have no idea what this is. I don't It's the game is loud. Holy crap. I wasn't expecting this. Actually turn the game down. I, I can't seem to get into full screen either. Like there's no way for me to do it as far as I can tell. And I can't use the controller. Uh... Yes, my default name is Spoopy. Okay, something's wrong with the controls here. I'm guessing the controller is causing some problems. <sighs> Give me a second, I'm just gonna unplug it. Boop. Is that is that a reference that I should understand? What? Is that a reference that I should understand? What, Spoopy? Yeah. It's the name that Game Grumps had for that character. Oh good, so this is gonna be filled with memes. Oh wait, now my name is Awa! What? Changes? Uh, Flirt. <laughs> oh jeez! This is actually in 60! Is it? Yes! That's weird. Um, I, I'd love to know how to go on full screen. Okay, there's a, there's a fact for this game. Let me read that. Alt enter. Alrighty then. What's with you? Just straight up trying to strike up a friendly conversation in the middle of battle? Who? What kind of? You know what? No. If you don't want to fight, I'll have to make you. Are you uh? Oh. Oh. Looks like acting won't help out until she tires herself out. Okay. What is this song? What? Oh. What? Why'd you start barking? I don't know. It's, this game is loud. So. I don't have to hear that. Oh, dang it. What? 
Are you so obsessed with befriending everyone you meet that you'll just throw your life on the line just to do it? Yes. That's the point of the game. At least this random boss fight that's in 60 FPS for some reason. Oh. Oh. Wow. Even in a fan game, I still got killed. You cannot give up just yet. Awa. Stay determined. Stay determined, Awa. Well, at least you don't have to go through that opening. You just have to... This is weird. I'm guessing you know nothing about this game, so... Okay. It's called Undertale Red. I assume named after this character. Wait, what? I got instantly killed. A fate rests upon you. CHILD! Stay determined. Oh, my name was CHILD now. My name keeps changing. I'm now... Floopy. Or Floody, I don't know. So I was our child and now I'm Floopy. This is weird. By the way. What? The dialogue box is in shambles. She keeps chopping up the dialogue box. How could she do such a thing? Whew. Why won't you fight back? WHY WON'T YOU FIGHT?! Oh. Oh. WHY WON'T YOU FIGHT BACK?! I don't...
Can you, um, like, lay off of the attacks for a second? Okay. I... I hate this! I hate this so much! You asked Red what's wrong. You remember the canine unit, right? If you passed through Snowden, you must have. Well, when I heard you, when I heard them talking about you, it, it scared me. Not for my safety, mind you. I like to think I'm a terrible, f I'm not a terrible fighter, but because all the things they said about you. They were so positive. They all consider you a friend. Thing is, not a, not a single human has ever made it past Asgore. After he re after he redeclared war on humankind, six fallen humans were reduced to six souls. And I felt you would be no different. If you were kind to me, only to be killed by our king, I, I don't know what I'd do. I didn't want to lose anyone else, so so I, I did my best to shut you out. I refused to like you. And then you finally appeared, asking about my days, showing concern, just trying to make me laugh. God, I hate every minute of it. But, um, I guess there's no stopping you, huh? You're a mean, clean, befriending machine. So, uh, thanks for being so patient with me, and, uh, sorry I tried to slice you open, I guess. These things happen. Huh? You're leaving already? Well, I guess you've got places to be, kings to meet. Asgore is our king for a reason. But just because he's strong doesn't mean he's mean. If you ask nicely enough, you can be friends with him too. Knock him dead, champ! Don't actually kill anyone, okay? If, if you do, I'll, I'll, I'll be really upset. So, don't do that, okay? Is that it? Oh, that was it. <laughs> so, what'd you think? Um... It was in 60th. Yeah. <laughs> That's just it. Just K. Okay. Well, I didn't see the 60th because it shut off on the last one. Oh, yeah. Uh, I can only assume there's multiple arcs that could be actually the attacker and shit. I assume. So you should do that. Oh, friggin'. God dang it. I, I, want, I wanted to get to the annoying dog fight. It's an annoying dog fight. It's an annoying dog fight. But you beat it. Why is there an annoying dog? No, it's a different game. Oh. Oh god. And, and the song they use for it. It, it's... It, we have to, I have to now at this point. Although, scarily enough, it's under... It's... It's... Oh god, I just... It just, it just launches. <sighs> Do you hear the song? Now I do. It's Megalovania with the dog. Yes. And the game itself is called, um, Toby Fox Simulator. On the, on the, well, because I'm setting up the game capture. Oh, and apparently my name is Chara. You tried petting the dog, but it refused. Oh, do I not have any items? Oh. Oh, can I not spare the dog? Do I actually have to kill the dog? You perform a dumb dance. The dog seemed to like it. Attack lowered. Yeah, I don't have any ability to heal myself. Throwing the fight bar at me. Is that okay? I guess I fight it. Oh, God. <laughs> This is, like, stupid. 
Also, it's kind of annoying that I don't have a health, a healing item either. I, why is it throwing the fight bar at me? What is this attack? How do you dodge the fight bar? The dog is shaking viciously. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna win. I think I'm gonna lose to the dog. And I don't think I care enough to try it again. Nah, I don't. Please let me quit. Yeah, let's not speak of that again. Okay. It's a shame that's the only two I've found so far. Apparently they're making an Undertale 3D somewhere. Oh. Uh-huh. <sighs> Cause that's necessary. Oh, I forgot. The reason I was looking this up was an Undertale dating sim. Underdate. It's on Tumblr. Is it? Is it? Can I even get it? Downloads. This, I, I don't... I read that it went, oh god, it's 200 megabytes? I don't, I, I don't know if I can actually technically stream this game. It, it just occurred to me. The site mentioned not safe for work. <laughs> um, oh, I, I don't know if I can actually stream this. I don't want to get my Twitch account banned. What are the rules exactly? No idea. Okay. I don't even know what this is, but it's 200 megabytes. I think it's even bigger than Undertale itself. Yep. So clearly... I don't know. What, let me read the fact. What is the story of this game? It can be found in the games folder. It takes place five years after the game and slightly altered version of the pacifist ending. Okay. Does Toby Fox have any involvement at all? No! Is the tone of this game going to be serious? Somewhat. What's the player character's gender? It's a mystery! Do you know someone- do you know- do, do you know someone is also making Undertale dating sim? Will this game have not safe work? The game is a sin-free zone. If anyone does make a not safe work of this fan game... Okay, so it isn't actually not safe work. So I can stream it. Do you... Do, do you want... Do, so what's with VAs? Oh, good. They're going to implement voice actors as well. So this is a... So this game is a somewhat serious... Undertale dating game. Doesn't that sound fun? Oh, yeah. This is the highlight of my entire streaming career right here. I'm just right now extracting it. Give it a second. I'm scared, by the way. This is um a dumb idea. In case you didn't figure that out. Yeah. And uh, chances are you're probably going to queue it in Yuki, so it's going to be even worse. No. Yeah, d don't actually do that, please. I'd rather not. Oh, hey, my... Oh, really? All my uh, videos already got imported. Yay. Anyways, I, I wonder how the random thumbnail like, system works on YouTube. Because sometimes they're decent. Like, I don't, like, for instance, the Seven Stream 1 looks fine. But then, you know, other times they're just. I, I don't know what. I don't know if there's any deter. Like, I don't know if 
there's any like system in place to determine what is the thumbnail or if it's just completely random? I have no idea. Because like sometimes it seems like the thumbnails are like decent. Like almost all the Assassin's Creed thumbnails are in cutscenes. If you didn't notice. Maybe they automatically pick the slowest moving image or something. Maybe. Because they're all like... Like in all those ones with cutscenes, they all have like ones really in-depth in the story. Like my one for the Max Payne, for instance. That freeze frame right there. I don't... Yeah, I don't know what causes it. I don't know what causes it. Because I've wondered, too. Because sometimes they're decent and other times they're just... Nah. Oh well, the game the game is extracted. Are, are you ready to have the greatest experience in the world? Oh, of course. Oh yeah. I better read the read me. Oh god, there's a story. In the year two uh two uh two thousand and one X, a human child named Frisk fell into the underground, a place where monsters lived isolated by humans. Frisk went on a quest to go back to the surface and met many friends along the way. They learned they then they. There, they learned about Asgore's plans to use seven human souls to break the barrier. He was stopped along with his son, who had attained godly powers by absorbing everyone's soul. After his failed attempt at destroying the barrier, he came back. He came back to his senses. He did all this. He he did all this for his adopted human sister Chara. Oh, okay. He saw. Is this gonna spoil something? No, that's not canon. Wait, the sister isn't canon. What? The whole sister thing that the, he doesn't actually have a sister in the game. No. Okay. I mean, not that, not that stated. No. He saw the raw determination of Frisk. Had wait, he saw his human sister, who's a he, I guess, saw the raw determination that he had, and he granted everyone their wish. But even he failed, and the barrier didn't break. The six human souls were still. Oh no! Wait, this is the non-canon part. Wait, who saw? What? I don't even know anymore. I lost. I'm I'm completely lost. The six human souls still lingered. It seemed that only seven human souls themselves could have could break the barrier. Human soul, um, it was a tragedy. No one in the underground had their wish to be ha had their wish to be free fulfilled. Everyone except for Elfies and Undyne, who were living together, went back to their normal lives. Frisk decided to stay with Toriel, who became their foster mother. Everyone seemed to go back to normal until a string of tragedies came. Research on research on souls was ceased after the six human souls that were obtained were stolen along with Elfies. Someone stole. Elfies. Then begins who lived without souls. Then beings who lived without souls or even determination came. The underworld was going through problems in five years of the first journey. Another human stumbles in the cave. You! Where, and you have the deter- Where are you reading this from? It's in the read me. Oh. Basically, the backstory is everything is being ruined and it's up to me. A, a, a completely other character to solve everything. That's the backstory. Okay, is this gonna be another ult? Is it gonna be another, like, ult enter to full screen? Yes. Well, it's got the theme song for the main menu down. And apparently, there's gonna be dating involved, too. Yay. Yeah, so you know, it's it's gonna be good. And of course, it's like ridiculously loud as well. Um, oh god, what the frick is this? I have to use the mouse to click on stuff? There's settings? Yeah, the game's not coming through yet. What? The game's not coming through. Uh Oh, whoops. Is it coming through now? I mean, I miss I misclicked the uh thing. Transitions, tech speed, auto forward time. What the frick is all this? Oh, I'll start game. You wake up to find yourself in a bed in an unfamiliar room. The room is nicely kept. There's a bookshelf on your right and a small workspace to your left consisting of a lamp. Oh, god dang it, what is this? Workspace to your left consisting of a lamp and a table with some paper on it. As you scan the room, you hear the door open. 
Her voice is soothing. Maybe this person put you in the room. I'm sorry that you feel uncomfortable. You had a really bad cut in your knee, so I took you through the ruins to my home. You look under the sheets to find your knee nicely bandaged. Is this a visual novel? I, I think it might be. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> um, there is a there is an option to turn down the volume in the game though, so I'm gonna do that. My name is Toriel, by the way. If you would like, I can make some hot chocolate or some apple cider. Uh, give me the hot chocolate. Alrighty then, I'll take it. It'll take a couple of minutes to get the hot chocolate ready. Seems like she's gone. Do you want to check around the room? Yes, check around the room. You go in the middle of the room. Your leg hasn't fully healed yet, so you're walking. Is a bit uncomfortable. What do you want to do? God, uh, look at the books. The look at the bookcase. It's a long list of a long list of books sit on the shelf. Do you want to read one? <sighs> Comic Sam 30th anniversary book. Miss Muffet's tea party. A star a star's guide to cooking. The official Metaton cookbook. <laughs> or nothing. I think I'm going to read the book Nothing. You pick up the book. You tried to read the book, but the book has no pages. You put the book down. I like that book. <laughs> sure, let's read Metaton's book. You pick up the book. It's a cook it's a cookbook written by Metaton himself. I I cuz I totally know who that is. I mean, I am sp I'm supposed to be this random guy. It seems that there's a lot of notes from Torio, a lot of them talking about how the recipes didn't turn out good. Okay. Miss Muffet's Tea Party. You pick up the book. It's a children's book about a spider who holds a tea party. Unfortunately, there's a bunch of spider webs holding the pages together. You put the book down. You look at the bookcase. Okay, this is the same stuff. Comic Sam. 30th anniversary book. It's a classic comic strip series about a young boy named Comic Sam and his brother Dappy Rus. And the misadventures they have. Comic Sam. Hey Dappy, what are you doing with that fishing pole? Dappy Rus. Can't you see, Sam? I'm trying to catch fish. Well, you're not really impressing anyone. Those are some good books. Look at the desk. You look at the desk. Everything is nicely put together. Do you want to look through the desk? Yes. You open the desk and look through it. There seems to be a little card drawn over with crayon. The card reads, To the best dad in the world, Asriel. You decide to keep the card. Okay. You look at the bookcase in your room. It's a long... Do you want to read one? No. I'm, 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 I'm going to bed. Go to bed! As you open your eyes, a young kid peeks his head through. Hey, here's the hot chocolate Toriel made you. They put the hot chocolate on your desk. She's also worried about that cut you got as well. I think you should come out of your room and visit her. The kid exits the room and closes the door. What do you want to do? Drink hot chocolate. You drink the hot chocolate. It's warm and chocolatey. Really? I never would have guessed. Uh, you can go to Frisk's room? Oh, Frisk's room is locked. Was that Frisk that was just talking to me? I didn't know he spoke. I thought he was a mute. All the rooms are locked. This is, by the way, um, I wasn't expecting this. On the right is a highway, is a hallway leading to the bedrooms. On the left is a hallway leading to the living room. You also notice the stairs leading down the hallway. It looks enticing, but it looks like your leg is too hard to go down the stairs. What do you want to do? Uh, go right. Which way do you want to go? Oh, wait. Okay. I already came from right. Go left. Oh, hello. I bet Frisk might have woken you up. I'm sorry if you didn't get enough rest. So, so Frisk actually speaks? I, I thought he... Oh, no, wait. They... This is an alternate reality where Frisk is stuck down here. I forgot. That's, that's the backstory. Why don't you come in and I'll take the bandage off. So is there any is, is there going to be anything, you know, visual? Or is this just me staring at plaid while I read text? Well, uh, if, if it follows typical VM logic, it'll have pictures for the sexual stuff. Oh, goody! But seeing as it says it doesn't have that... Toriel takes... Well, I mean, I said not safe for it, but then I mentioned read the fact... I don't know. 
She cleans the wound, your legs just feel better in a matter of seconds. That should do, um... She looks nervous. I don't think I've ever asked what your name is. Does it actually fit? Oh! Perfect! I, I don't have to be retarded Mike anymore. Oh, Michael, is it? You actually have two syllables in your name? I never would have guessed. I'm so sorry that I never asked earlier, Michael. You can wait here while I'm cooking dinner and talk to Frisk. What the frick am I going to talk to him about? She leaves the room. Frisks unlock their door. Frisks, Frisk unlocks their door and walks down the hallway. Oh, hey. Hey, what's your name again? It's Michael. I actually speak. This is weird. Oh, sorry, Michael, for all the confusion. We've probably done a bit. We've probably we've, we've probably done a bad job at explaining everything. You can ask me questions if you want. Are you a human? Uh, yeah. Well, I was the only human alive, but it seems I'm not anymore. What do you mean alive? It's complicated. Why'd you bring me here? Me and Toriel have been taking care of you ever since you fell down here. You're lucky. You're lucky that you woke up to find yourself here. And to find yourself here then in the ruins the place is lined with traps most of them are easy but there's a lot of holes that could have put you in a worse shape yeah but why well Toriel's the guardian of the ruins she sometimes takes care of the humans who have fallen fallen so this is the underground yeah you can't go back you can't go back the way you came if you were wondering so I'm trapped here well Toriel opens the door, interrupting your conversation. Oh, I'm sorry, Michael, but dinner's ready. I made snail pie, if you want it. You, Toriel, and Frisk sit down at a dining room. At the dining room. You enjoy the snail pie. It reminds you of something like a casserole with escargot in it. <laughs> Delicious. You know, actually, I've eaten escargot, and it's not the worst thing in the world. They just kind of taste like garlic butter balls. If that makes any sense. It's just basically like garlic a... Garlic and butterball. It's basically like a mushy sort of garlic and butter. That's all you taste. It's it's not... It's hard to describe, but it's not like the worst thing ever. You, you just... You, you can't eat too many of them. They, they, they serve in like six of them. Anyways. When you finish your meal, you go ask Toriel a question. Toriel. Toriel turns around to look at you. There's a solemn expression on her face. Like she knows what you were about to say. Michael, I know you want to return to the surface. It's just that the way back is going to be hard. I would have let you go until they started coming. What do you mean they? I don't know, but creatures starting appearing. Those without souls. What do you mean by souls? Me and you, humans and monsters, have souls. But these creatures don't. You can't try to spare them. They won't stop until they know you're dead. There's a way to stop them, but only the weaker ones. Wait, but how do they live without a soul? Not even any of the smartest people I know can figure that out. However, I see that you enjoyed your life in the surface. Keeping you here would have made you would have made would have made you linger for your old life. I'll get I'll go get it then. After a few seconds, Toriel comes back with an ornate necklace. She leads you down the stairs in the front room to a dark corridor with a door at the end. Oh! A picture! Okay. The necklace should keep some of the creatures away from you. Just be careful if you stumble upon any, any strong ones, though. I don't think that even the necklace can protect you from them. She hands you the That's necklace. What? That's a good picture. Yeah. I'll go ahead and open the door for you, Michael. She opens the door. You hear someone shout, Toriel! Frisk? Frisk pants a little bit. Toriel, I want to go with Michael. But Frisk, I... I'll be alright. I promise I'll come home. Once I help. Michael. He kind of reminds me of this kid in a videotape, except he was called Mike and was retarded. Well, alrighty then. Oh, by the way, Michael, here's some leftover snail pie and some G. She hands you a container filled with snail pie and 150 G. Well, it was nice having you around, Michael. I hope you make it safe. She opens the door. On the other side is a snowy forest. You and Frisk take a step onto the other side. Behind you, you hear the door slowly shut. Well, I guess we better start going then. Where do you want to go? 
A real tough choice here. You head north until you hear someone running towards you. Shoo! Shoo! Get out of here! As he gets closer, you can see that he's actually a skeleton. A skeleton swinging his sword around violently. Wait! Frisk, is that, Frisk, is that you? Oh, 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 they got, they got the music kicking in. I'm sorry, human. I didn't recognize you since you became much taller now. Wait a minute. Who's the other human? Oh, that's Michael. Oh, well, hello there, human. I am the great, I am the great century of Snowden. Papyrus. He points to a nice name tag that says Captain of Centuries and Snowden. Papyrus. Undyne made it for me. She's the captain of the Royal Guard. Papyrus giggles like a little child, like a little kid. So what brings you here, human? Oh, we were trying to get Michael back to the surface. Oh, yes, the surface. But didn't you decide to stay in the ruins instead? Yeah, but Michael probably has, like, has, Wait like... Wait a second. Didn't, didn't the, the intro say that this was after the game? Yeah, like five years after the game, but it, the story... The time isn't the Royal Guard at well, first quit. The story was like they Frisk never made it to the surface. I don't know. Yeah, something like that whole fight at the end, it didn't work out or something, I don't know. Yeah, but Michael probably has like a family or something. Well, I guess that's reasonable. I'm kind of getting really worried about Sans right now. Well, I was kind of looking for you. Sans? Oh! Picture! You know, with what you said earlier, I'm, more, I'm a bit concerned. Yeah, this is pretty embarrassing, but the rest of the guards aren't responding. In fact, they're sleeping like dogs. Sans, this is not the- this is no time for puns. We really need to get to the village. Creatures might be there trying to kill the villagers. Yeah, yeah, I know. We'll cut through the forest using the shortcut. He takes you through a bush to find a minecart. Come on, come on, guys, hop in. Sans pulls the lever to activate the minecart. One of the villagers installed minecarts here for the royal guards so that they can switch from post to post. Which I never get, though, is how these rails don't get covered in snow. The minecart stops at the village. It was surprising how fast you got there. Oh my god, help me! Squiggle, 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 cross, squiggle, 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 cross, squiggle, cross, squiggle, a circle. Kind of looks like a, <laughs> it kind of looks like a burger. Squiggle, squiggle, cross, squiggle, squiggle, cross, squiggle, squiggle, oh. squiggle, cross, squiggle, 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 squiggle. Is there that, some? Those, those are windings. Oh. It's wait. It's it's a it's for a character that's not technically in the game. You have to modify files to see. Oh. A character named W. D. Gaster, who people assume is either Sans and Papyrus' dad or some relative or something. I see. Yeah. Okay. Um, like six light bulbs. You run towards the creatures. As you run, the necklace starts to glow. Light bulbs. Light bulbs? The two creatures run like crazy away from you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Papyrus. Um, you're welcome. I think it's Michael. Who deserves the praise? Oh, well, thank you, Michael. The villager runs home. Meanwhile, it's not supposed to be one word. You and Frisk go to Papyrus' house. Aw, oh, this music. So you're trying to get back, then? It would be easy, but the human souls were stolen a couple years back. O only a person with one human soul can cross the barrier. Problem is, uh, no one has a clue who did it. I guess you're kind of screwed here, buddy. What if I try to find it? Wait, are you being serious? Well, I really shouldn't be stomping you. By the way, I've seen something like that necklace you're wearing around here. There's this weird cave where creatures will run away from if they look into it. I think that's the same material as the necklace. If you would like to go find it for us, you can. I'll give you directions so you can find it. He gives you a note with directions to the cave. It says, Northwest, North, Northwest, n Northwest, North, Northwest, North. I'm gonna write that down in case that actually is important. Okay. Uh, what were the last two ones? Do you remember? Northwest, north, northwest, north. Okay. 
I'm gonna jot that down on the notepad in case that actually is important. You're welcome to stay around though, but if you really want to go back to the surface, you should get going. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Calm, calm down, game. I didn't realize that this would be some like ridiculously long. Go to the shop. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? What do you want to buy? Spaghetti. Oh, those things? They've been running around here lately. Everyone can't see. Me. Everyone can't even get out because of them. It's pretty awful. I don't think I've seen a soul go outside in days. Oh yeah, those two? A couple of years ago, they came into the town and became part of it. They're pretty wacky. Still are now. It certainly helped things because it, it certainly helped things become less mundane because of them. And I guess it helped things. And I guess it helps things become less tragic now. The royal guard used to hunt down humans like you and, their, and for their souls. We were going to use them to bring back to break the barrier until we saw the true light of things. We never did though. The souls just disappeared one day, never to be seen again. I guess we just can't have nice things like freedom. I'm sure I've told this a million times, but when the monsters decided to leave the ruins, they came out towards Snowden. A couple of fuzzy folk decided to set up camp here. Oh, by the way, if you're thinking about going back to the ruins, just don't. Doors are sealed, so unless you're a ghost or can bury under those doors, you can't go back. Isn't that what she says in the actual game? Yeah. Okay. Go to the inn. Uh... I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to go to the inn. Go to Grillby's. It's locked. Go to the library. Enter the library. The entire wall in front of you is littered with books. Do you want to read a book? You flip the page of the book. After recent events that took place in the underworld, researchers discovered new evidence that that con that contradict what we usually accept as true. One of these things is that human souls may in fact be made of some may be may in fact be made of the same materials as monster souls. There are theories made that human souls may be stronger than monster souls. This is in fact due to how humans can pass through the barrier. Research on this fact seems to be non-existent, but any knowledge that both souls are made from different materials has been regarded as war-related pre prejudice. New evidence based on the creatures suggests that bodies can still live without a soul, but in turn become violent in nature. Again, no research has developed due to the violent nature of these creatures. I seem to arrive at Snowden, a nice quiet village here in the underground. It is here that I found the two sentries, Papyrus and his brother Sans. Is this Frisk's, like, journal? Papyrus seemed to be rather oblivious, but determined and optim but a but determined and optimistic character. His brother Sans seemed to be more chilled and sometimes became very serious at moments. They hardly accepted me and were nice to me. So did the rest of the villagers in Snowden. Maybe if maybe it was perhaps I accepted them as well. It makes me feel bad that they're trapped in the underworld. Okay. Michael, what are you doing here? I just wanted to hang out. Oh, I see. Come on in then. This is my house, Michael. Pretty cool, isn't it? They, they couldn't get my name to, you know, be all caps. Feel free to check it out. I want to visit the trash can. That's the trash can. If you want to visit, you'll need to schedule an appointment. It's rather busy nowadays. I see. That's my TV. There's nothing good on these days, but Metaton is going to perform in a new hit drama series. I guess that's the best to look forward to when there's only one TV channel. I'm sorry, but I'm running low on spaghetti. A cool, I'll cook some for you later when I get some. I, and I can't go to his room either. Ah, oh, yes, the sink. I extended so more, so more bones could fit. But now I can't get water for my spaghetti. And dogs keep stealing my bones. Those were kind of a big oversight on my part. Okay. Talk to friends. Talk to Frisk. Hey, Michael, what do you need? Tell a joke. You tell a joke to Frisk. They smile a bit. Hey, Michael, what do you mean, they? Where do you want to go? Uh, north. Where do you want to go? West. North. North. West. North. The cave should be here. I really don't want to walk through the entire forest for nothing. Looks like you were too late, chumps! 
You turn around to see a giant yeti holding an entire cave. Oh yeah, that's right. Not only am I not only am I taking these stupid rocks, but I'm stealing the entire cave as well. Now you'll never get another rock for your stupid quest thingy. Wait, how do you steal an entire cave? I don't know. I just did because I can. Also, don't talk so loud next time. One of these guys could have maybe not have heard you so well. Squiggles. Hey, shut up, you. So wait, you're working with them? Of course, they needed they need the help of one of the greatest wrestlers in all of the underground. You know, the greatest ever, Miss Fantastic. My name is Sophia, or, 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 so, or Softy. I guess it's my curse as a minor league wrestler to not be noticed by anyone. I'm going to change all of that, of course. So in the meantime, you chumps can stand around looking, can, you stand around and keep looking pretty. Or if you're feeling lucky, you could fight me right here in, in Snowden on pay-per-view wrestling. Smell you later, chumps. Peace. She falls backwards so she can be carried, but the creatures are too weak and fall over. She runs off instead. So somebody carried the entire cave. That's not good. So she literally took the cave. Like, the entire thing. Yep, the entire thing. Wait, how does someone carry an entire cave? It's literally just a hollowed out rock. We've seen Undyne approach boulders and stuff. So just think of it as like a giant hollowed out boulder. That kind of makes sense, I guess. Anyway, you need to get the cave back. She sounds like she could be waiting near the exit of Snowden. You hear several trees fall over. Come over and fight me, nerds! Or maybe she's prob she probably is at the exit of Snowden. Anyway, just try to be careful out there. Do I have to, like, buy something for the fight? I'm gonna buy the arrowhead. Oh, that thing. It used to belong to my mother. She found it in by the lake or something. She said it could be magical. I have no real use for it, but I guess you can have it. Okay. I'll buy the spaghetti. Alright then. You'll probably make Papyrus mad. He always comes here to buy spaghetti. I have to restock on it a lot, but it makes me ton of mo a ton of money. Okay. Can I, can I give Papyrus the spaghetti? Oh, I can't. Alright, let's fight. It took you so long, nerd. It lit I was literally gone for like two seconds. It doesn't matter. All that matters, I bet, is that I bet you're here tonight on pay-per-view wrestling. Lights shine, revealing a homemade stage. It looks like some time and effort was put into it. Are we ready to roll? Hmm. Let's hit it. Oh God! Uh, suplex. She gives you a break and tries to pull you to the ground. Uh, pin her. She's trying to get up. You grab her feet and rotate her. You rotate her so fast that you throw her across the ring. She's weak, but you'll miss the chance to pin her if you don't hurry. You, you grab her leg to pin her. One, two, three! You win the match. Spare her? Yeah, sure, okay. You decide to let her live. The creatures get so scared that they run away without her. You drag her into an inn. Sands of Priors pay for the room. Hell, she's gonna have to take some time before she can regain consciousness. But hey, at least you got the cave back. She stole the entire cave. You know, this This is dumb, by the way, if you haven't figured that out. Yeah. Oh, I've I noticed quite a few spelling errors. So. Yeah. The area up ahead is Waterfall. Our friend Undyne lives there. Hey, Sans, how about we go up there and introduce our friend to her? Yeah, but, dude, don't we need to help the guards? Well, we got the cave back, have enough of those rock things to keep away those creatures, and we got plenty, and we got pretty good, and we got a pretty good team. Well, except for the part where they might have killed a guy. Oh, yeah, that kind of slipped by me. I'll watch over them, and you can go with Michael, and introduce them to Undyne in Waterfall Sands. All right, just don't cry a river of tears for me. Just go already. So when's the, you know, the dating start? So they're about to leave Snowden. There's probably more boss creatures tougher than her. Are you ready to go, Michael? Well, we're not helping anyone by standing around here. Hear a distant voice coming from across the town. Hey, hold up there! You see that it's Softy, and she's trying to get get you to wait for her. Hey, Michael. 
Hey, how'd you get up so quickly? I'm a wrestler. I was born to get up after being knocked down. But I'm very sorry for what I did. Some guy tried to pay me, and being poor and all minor league, I obviously took it. I bet, I bet I looked like a free, uh, a, 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 a free, a freaking, a, a freaking. I bet I looked like a freaking idiot. I thought that, that was all staged. I, I thought that that was all staged. You don't even look as strong as you are. So what are you trying to say? I I want to help you. Whatever you're doing, anyways. I kind of feel really bad after realizing what really happened. I know that looks either fishy or like a white lie, but I swear I'm not going to deck you in the face after this. I'm just really not the sharpest tool in the shed. I'm just really not the sharpest tool in the shed. Okay. Well, what do you think, Michael? Sure, you can come along. I don't care. I don't mind. Oh, thanks, guys. I promise I'll be as helpful as I can. I'm guessing a lot of this game is incomplete. Yeah, probably. Yeah. The humid air and the illuminating blue light of the mushrooms gives this place a frightening yet calming atmosphere. Okay, guys. I honestly have no idea. No no ideal. He has no ideals whatsoever. He, he doesn't strive for anything. Where we are going. I mean, I've been here before, but everything looks the same. Wait. You've been here before, Frisk? Why don't, don't you remember how to get through here? Kid. Softy? Can't say I've been here before. Don't tell me we're all screwed. Oh. The writing on the wall is an advertisement for an old fast food chain. Sands is screaming internally. What? In fact, he's so mad that he falls over and triggers a trap. A bunch of heavy logs fall on on you, rendering all of you unconscious. Hoi! Hoi! A oh, human is awake! Hi, human! Where am I? You're at Tim Village! You fell, you fell on Tim Trap for not cute monsters. You felt sorry. Tim felt sorry for you. Tim put you and your friends in Tim Inning. Who are you? I'm Tim! Its face vigorously vibrates. Bye, I guess. Bye, human! Tim Hope. Hume friends get well. Uh, go to the temp shop. That's a good. No! Ah, muscle lady, not cute. Hey, what are you talking about? Oh hi. Oh no, is Tem made fun of human's friend? Tem, sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. It's all right. Softy leans over to pet Temmy. Wow, hand feels so nice. Oh no, is Tem also forget? Human friend here. Tem charged nothing since it was Tem's fault. Tem sorry about that. Fight Omega Temmy. No, yeah, let's do that. You try to exit the Temmy village until... Hoy, pathetic human. I've come to collect your soul. It's... Tim for five. Omega Timmy is standing in your way. What the frick is this? Hi. Say hi to Omega Timmy. Hoy, pathetic mortal. Timmy Flakes? You dare feed me that garbage? Omega Timmy deserves a more suitable meal than mere Timmy Flakes. Omega Timmy looks at its muscles. What? Omega Timmy is imploding on itself. No! What? What the hell is this? I don't know. Hoi! Human's friends recover well. Tim take to your Tim take you to your friends. Your friends stay here until they were okay. Tim also thank you for getting rid of me and Timmy. Be relieved to see that Sands of Frisco sitting there. Hey Michael, I bet you're glad to see us. Are you guys alright? Yeah, not a single bone was broken. Is that even a pun? Yeah, me and Sans came out alright. It's also nice that we wound up in Timmy Village. We could have been left for dead. Frisk is right. That could have been it for us. But we should get a move on now. Undyne's place is pretty close now. Where do you want to go? Uh, talk to friends. Who do you want to talk to? Talk to Sans. Tell Sans a joke. You tell Sans a bad pun about Selagathites. He gives out a hearty laugh. 
Okay. Isn't this like the best thing ever? Yeah. Undyne's place should be near here, though. It's just a couple of yards away from Temme Village. The Temmes have disarmed some of the, their traps for us, so we don't have to worry about getting dragged back here. After we meet Undyne, we need to get through the Hotlands and the Core, and end up near the capital. I feel like this seems too simple for us. I just feel like somebody is probably waiting for us. I'm probably paranoid. I think we should just get going. going just keep going on then, Michael. You head into the area near Undyne's house. As you turn around, you see somebody fly past your face. She lands on the ground and turns. Oh, hi, Frisk. Oh, hi, Undyne. I don't expect any of you to come here. Especially you, Frisk. Aren't you staying with Toriel? Undyne jumps right in front of you. And who is you? I'm Michael. Oh. Hey, Michael. Wait. Who's that girl over there? You mean Softy? You look back and see Softy staring at Undyne. Hey, what's so funny? I'm sorry, but... You you have hair. And what's so strange about that? Last time I checked, fish don't have hair. Wait. How haven't I realized that? Undyne has an existential crisis for a few minutes. <laughs> sorry for jumping out at you all, all of you guys, but creatures are running around everywhere. I need to protect my home. You know what? You guys can enter my new home and talk. You enter, you enter into Undyne's house. So, do you want to talk about anything, Michael? Anime! Wait! Oh, God, what is... Oh, God, what... what the, the song! Wait! Anime! You know what anime? Oh, my God! She starts to freak out. Yes! <laughs> oh, oh, wait. You still gotta leave for the surface. I, I was gonna ask you if you wanted to watch some anime with me. <laughs> Guess it's kinda too late now. Oh yeah, five years ago Frisk accidentally burned my house down when I was teaching them how to cook. I crashed out at Papyrus' place until I got enough money to build a new home. So I had to take a job as, as a chef. As a chief, not a chef, a chief. I had a chief at Grillby's. She was the master chief at Grillby's. I eventually got enough for a new home and new furniture. And now I have a new TV to watch anime on! Oh, and I also installed a smoke detector too. Isn't the qual isn't the writing in this just high quality? Oh yeah. Uh, ask about a way out. Yeah. So normally I would. So normally I would stay here and give you directions, but I decided to go with you. So no why or huh? Huh? You're just gonna take it then? Well, I'll just say a great friend of mine by the name of Doctor Elfie's got kidnapped. It's been years since she's disappeared, and I've been sitting here doing nothing. I mean, I have tried many times even, but I couldn't seem to find any traces at all. I just gave up for a while. But hey, if you're gonna try, then why shouldn't I take another shot then? Besides, I don't need to feel awful about, about it for another year. Yeah, what are we doing here anyways? Let's go! Undyne knees through the door with all her strength. Standing outside her used-to-be door is a man with an average build. Well... Looks like I, don't, I didn't need to break down the door. <laughs> the man is obviously nervous. Why are you standing outside my door? Well, the man materializes a gun in his hand. I'm here to kill you! By pretending to hold a gun in your hand. Wait, you can't see the gun? Wait a minute. Frisk, can you see the gun? No. Wait, is this a prank, Undyne? I guess it's kind of funny then, only because he lost his cool in three seconds. I've never seen a guy so nervous in my life. If he wants to, it, I, I, I item my date us. Try actually bringing a gun next time. Hey, I'm being serious here. He shoots off his gun near Sans' feet. Okay, I've changed my mind. This isn't funny anymore. <laughs> this guy's serious. And now that I know some of you can't see my stand, this will be even more fun. Who are you? Who are you? You could be a little nicer, ma'am, but my name is Whole Horse. Whole Horse. Whole Horse. This stupidest name I've ever heard. Yeah, me too. Hey, my name's not stupid. He shoots another bullet in the air. Now listen here, partner. 
You can either come on and fight me or continue to stand around and make jokes. This, I, this I'm, I'm done. This is, this is retarded. I hope you weren't invested. No. Okay. Oh, and it crashed. Quitting caused it to crash. Yeah, that was, um, that was dumb. Wasn't it? Wasn't it like the best thing ever, though? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, funnily enough, um, my stream didn't die once playing any of those games. Yeah. It's just, I, I guess it's just the one. <sighs> oh, well, now I'm probably going to get off. Okay. So, um, yeah. See ya. See ya. I'm still streaming.